electrical compartment can be found beside the water box. On the side of the electrical compartment, you can find two automotive style 25 amp fuses. Each fuse can be removed with the help of a, screw, a flathead screwdriver. With the fuse out, you can look for continuity to make sure that the fuse is intact. That's not a guarantee. You will want to check it with a multimeter for continuity instead of just visually looking at it. If they're both good, you can put them back in place. If any of the fuses are shot, it will stop the machine from running. So we recommend you carry two spare fuses with you. They're cheap and easy to replace, but if you do have a fuse that blows, we recommend you troubleshoot to find out why the fuse blew instead of just plugging another fuse into it to see if it blows. To get inside the electrical compartment, you remove these two wing nuts. You will notice there's a rubber gasket that helps seal the front cover for the electrical box. That's to minimize, if not eliminate, the amount of water that gets inside because you don't want water mixing with electrical components. Inside you will find a relay, a distribution block, and an electronic con controller. Check your connections to make sure they're all secure. And also make sure that there's no signs of water ingress inside the water box, inside the electrical compartment. Once you've completed your inspection, you can return the cover into place, put your wing nuts back on, and your inspection of the electrical box is complete. Make sure you tighten your nuts, not just snug them up because you need to make sure that this rubber gasket is compressed to ensure that there's no water ingress inside the electrical compartment.